Welcome to LearnClickU.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you practical usage of uh, PlyMath function in your, in your uh, ClickU script. For those of you who are new to ClickU, I encourage you to watch uh, my previous video showing the basics of a PlyMath function. So let's begin. In order to save time, I've created a few tabs beforehand. One's for mapping and the other one's for fact table. And as we've gone over in the previous video, uh, mapping table has two columns. And, and here um, I have created several mappings. But before I dive into it, let me um, say a few words about the example that we will use in this uh, tutorial. Uh, I'm using a fictitious uh, company called Wog Shoe Company. Um, the company manufactures uh, sports and, and professional shoes. And uh, they sell their shoes through uh, three retailers, three major retailers um, that, that I've listed here. So there are several tabs. Uh, the first one sells, and it shows the uh, product and um, product sold to each retailer and the amount <clears throat> and the order date. Uh, the second has the products that company makes and then customer base and and the last one's important one here uh, depending on the volume uh, or the, the, the promotion uh, company has promotional discount for certain products and um, no discounts for others as you see here product 710 and 810 have no promotional discount so what we'll do as an objective of this tutorial, we will use apply map function to uh, apply either promotional discount or regular discount. And uh, you'll see that we can use nested apply map function to, to do so. So let's begin. I'm going to uh, go quickly over to, to this mapping, uh, various mapping loads that I've listed here. And they're pretty straightforward as I said um, they, they normally create a mapping by give it giving it a name and then it's really uh, the preceding load function um, that has mapping uh, prefix to it so you you add mapping load and then the first column is the key column and the second is normally the attribute so uh, we've created mapping for customer product and then we have uh, discount and promotional discount now another point i want to make here is that normally you, you can create mapping uh, for a table that has two columns but uh, there may be uh, a a practical need for you to create mapping out of table that has more than two columns in in that instance what you do is you create uh, several maps or several mapping tables out of the same source table as you see here what we've done is we created a uh, regular discount and promotional discount mapping out of the same source which is the discount tab from from the spreadsheet here so um, that I just want you to be cognizant about that. Okay, um, and and one more um, thing I want to emphasize here is that for promotional, I'm only pulling product IDs that that have uh, promotional discount greater than zero. So uh, with that, I'm not pulling seven ten or eight ten uh, through the promotional mapping. All right, so we'll dive. Um, and um, it will start showing you how uh, mapping or apply map works and especially nested apply maps. So I'll, I'll go in walk through shell company and again the sales steps what we want. So that's, that's easy enough. We'll give it a name sales. All right. So First thing we want to create is we'll create a, a field called product description, and we'll use simple apply map. 
again, you you need to the first parameter in the in the syntax the table name, which is product map, and Again, important thing to remember is the table name has to be enclosed in single quotes. So that. And then product ID. And, and the third parameter is optional. Uh, and it is used when no match is found. You don't have to provide, but I'm going to provide unknown product. So whenever... Uh, no match found uh, this this string will be displayed as product description good enough next one is the customer name so <clears throat> again apply map and then we use um, customer map as the table name and the, the key columns customer ID. So we use this. And again, if no match found, we'll call it unknown customer as customer name so this is the the simplest way you can use apply map function but as we go along I'll show you how you can nest apply maps uh, to uh, choose whether promotional discount or regular discount uh, should apply for, for a particular product so let's let's uh, first define the discount and and here also we're going to use uh, the uh, the nested apply map as I said uh, to to decide uh, whether a pro you know product should have the promotional discount or or the regular discount okay so we'll say apply map again And our intent is to look for promotional discount for so we'll just say uh, promotional map or promotions map so here and again the the key is product ID now if no match found. In other words, if promote, uh, the product has no promotional discount, then regular discount ought to apply. So we'll use apply map here again. The only difference is this time we'll, we'll pick the regular discount. And again, product ID. As discount. So as you see here, we've used nested apply map, and again, um, we have used the apply map as the uh, the default value or the third optional parameter. Um, is you know you can use string or again you can uh, use uh, another apply map, and that's the beauty of um, nested apply maps or, or beauty, beauty of using that that default value um, more more intelligently here uh, so that's that and then just to make things easier to understand we're going to call um, the gross amount as the sales amount And then we're going to create a calculation. I'll show you how you can use apply map function even in calculation. So the calculation is to to subtract the discounted amount from the the sales amount to come up with a final sales amount. So 
gross amount again minus again gross amount multiply and then here I'm going to use apply my function um, and, and truly I can just copy and paste because that's what we're doing we're multiplying discount with the gross amount so I'm going to copy this it here and then we're going to divide this by 100 because it's a percent is final sales amount so now you've seen apply map in its simplest form and then a nested apply map and even apply map in calculation so with that said, I'm going to save and let's reload. Oh, uh, I misspelled something. So it's typical of how I do things. I apologize for that. Okay, so gross amount. Should be okay now. Okay, so I'm going to uh, show. Let's let's show customer name, um, order ID, product ID, or product description, sales amount, discount, and final sales amount. Okay, so we're gonna arrange them a little bit. For illustration purpose, for ID product, customer, sales amount, and final. So as I select each order as you see it is displaying the product description for, for that particular product um, and it also shows me the discount which is for the the product one forty percent and hundred thousand dollars the sales amount final sixty thousand and the customer is big sports shoes I go to the next one and again that's thirty percent um, as you see, you know, it's, it's selecting when promotional discount exists, selecting that value. If not, it, it's selecting the, the regular discount. So for products 7, 10, and 8, 10, um, we charge uh, Navigator and, and Smooth Runner is going to use the, the regular discount. So as we go through... Um, smooth runner again just a five percent uh, and that's what that's what it is using it's not picking the promotional it's just zero um, as you see here and it's 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 nicely displaying the the sales amount and the final sales amount and the customer name also so as you see here the the data model is is really simple now it's just one table um, it it has eliminated all this other uh, table in the SAR star schema that would have been joined with this table since most of the dimensional tables uh, were to columns and and uh, thus we were able to eliminate them from from the data model. Uh, one more thing I want to emphasize. And it's very, um, very important for you to remember the best practice is um, I normally create the, the mapping tab as the, the tab next to the main tab. The reason being is you want to have all the mappings done before you load any, any fact table. So keep that in mind. 
and hope you like this video uh, and if so um, I really appreciate it and would like you to visit my blog again until then so long take care bye bye